Hello people, welcome back here to the channels Tapa Azul and Super Academico and today I'm going to deliver for you a video, a, a theoretical video, a video about this book that I'm reading New Rules of Sociological Method by Anthony Giddens It's a, uh, a book that I, I acquired some time ago and I am finally continue the reading I, I think I, I began to, to, re to read in 2010 2011 and now I have the opportunity to retake the reading uh, for those for those that don't know uh, I, I am a, a sociologist I, I work and research with groups from the internet in my master and my doctor I work with education but uh, I think it's interesting to to <coughs> to reach back this subjects of theoretical and, uh, and methodological uh, themes in sociology well Anthony Giddens for uh, who doesn't know is a uh, uh, British, uh, England, from England, sociologist, very famous all around the world. He was part of one of governments, one of the, one of the governments in England, I think was Tony Blair government. And he's a very, very eclectic sociologist, I think, because he, he absorbs uh, different parts different theories from other authors other other researchers of social studies well i i am in this reading material in the beginning uh, there was like a introduction that he makes talking about several subjects one of them is the I think was very interesting that the the influence of some some uh, some guidelines from the philosophy from the contemporary philosophy that he uh, says that influence and it's been influencing uh, it has been influencing the the sociology the research in sociology uh, in many many themes because it helps to understand the our our society by the point of view of these new uh, aspects of philosophy mostly the language and also the interference uh, of the the, uh, the, the, uh, the co local cultural aspects that one uh, society so uh, some 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 pieces that I'd like to share uh, before, I, before I really begin <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to these channels and ring the bell for notifications share the video if you like comments make questions and let's go and don't forget uh, if you uh, if you are, are new in the channels don't forget to look out the, in the other uh, look uh, 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 look for the other contents of the channels uh, the, the Tapa do Brasil is an entertainment channel it has many contents in English but most entertainment games movies books and Super Academico is a, a more serious channel more uh, devoted to, to education so I if you like this kind of theme you can look for the other videos and also in the description there is links for our books our other contents music and social media and so on so let's go he says here understanding what one does is only made possible by understanding that is being able to describe what others do and vice versa so uh, is the influence of the 
call uh, ethnal methodology when you you describe what other society do by looking at yourself he says language is first of all a symbolic and science system but it's not simple or even primarily primarily a structure of potential descriptions it is a medium of practical social activity so uh, the, the language is a possibility is a way of people to communicate so uh, it's a system that structures the relations so uh, he's opening and uh, the, the the book in the introduction with this idea that is necessary for the sociology uh, sociologists uh, or the social researcher of any kind anthropologists uh, political science political scientists even psychologists to understand this this uh, aspects of the human experience the human condition the communication through language uh, communicative ad acts is like the production of society which it underpins a skilled accomplishment of actors an accomplishment that is taken for granted yet is only achieved because it is never wholly taken for granted so if you take the mean uh, he uh, he's saying that uh, the, this aspect of language and communication seems so familiar because we have to to deal the, this, with this uh, every day now we have to speak we have to listen so it's taken for granted but when you assume that when with uh, aspect of society you don't take for granted as a researcher so you have to uh, listen very careful what the society is saying uh, there's four aspects uh, four key respects in which I shall say the functionalism ah, is talk about functionalism especially the Dirk Ma Dirkheims and Parsons it's an uh, influence on his work is not a, a follower per se but is a, 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 a uh, author né, and sociologist that respects the influence that he has so one I have already alluded uh, the reduction of human agency to the internalization of values so people act agency acts because of their values second the failure to treat social life as actively constituted through the doings of its members uh, you cannot uh, analyze society but uh, and also just only with the observation of the individuals you must abstract something else third the treatment of power as a secondary phenomenon that's not correct with norm or value residing in solidarity solitary no, solitary state as the most basic feature of social activity and consequently of social theory so you have to pay attention of the power relations power relations it's not a secondary phenomenon and fourth the failure to make conceptually central to the negotiated characters of norms as open to divergent and conflicted conflicting interpretations in relation to divergent and conflicting interests in society so i i think in this way he's saying in this introduction that he's going to assume the conflicts uh, the problems residing in the chaos not order because the, the functionalism uh, the functionalism is a line of theory in sociology that's that says uh, that uh, that it presents or understands society in a way that the order is what keeps the society together uh, 
the, the way it works that's, that's why it's functionalism it the, the functions of society makes it uh, be uh, makes it uh, stays in order so this order uh, may not be the way of a, a true society interpretation because the societies are made of people and these people are very different uh, with the individuals individuals has many things different to say to change thing to act and it's not something that you can just put in order just like a machine something like that that's why he says about the influences from Parsons and Talcott Parsons and Emil Durkheim because they both kind of believe or saw the society like a machine or a body working in the in this harmonious way uh, with synergy of the parts and the, the whole working together to make a sense uh, in a way that it works that's that functions works so he says that the the, the analysis the interpretation the theories must surpass that so in the this is was the introduction so uh the chapter that i'm reading now is called some schools of social theory and philosophy i am i will not develop the, in this video but in follow following videos he's he, he writes about the actual methodology uh, that i already spoke some some that has a great influence from the anthropology and the phenomenology as a line of philosophy uh, that comes from german so uh, the existential philosophy from schultz i know more uh, also heidegger and and uh, also heidegger and sartre that's not german it's french but uh, they are a big influence in the phenomenology so this phenomenology says as that uh, the description of the, the life's description of the uh, the problems uh, makes a different approach in any time you you study and uh, every time that you study some subject the subject uh, changes because of the point of view of the researcher so this is the basis of ethno methodology as i understand uh, if you know more or better please put the comments to help the video to enrich the video with more information but i think it's basically that i remember since i, I studied that in the masters and i had some experiences some study of phenomenology well there is a lot of things to say about this at the methodology and phenomenology and also about philosophy uh, language philosophy eh? mostly especially one guy one austrian german guy called ludwig wittgenstein wittgenstein so i i, I will end for today with just this introduction so you can feel if you want to keep writing uh, keep watching uh, about this this interpretation this this comments about this book and if if you find that interesting and have suggestions comments put there in the comments so i can keep up and follow the reading with new videos so this is it for today i hope you enjoy please subscribe to the channels and give the like to the video so you can keep producing new videos new contents for you here in brazil from brazil to the world here in super academico and tapaula azul to the next time bye bye